previously on Love Nest, drama, romance. Now on tonight's show, things are starting to crack. Stella and Bomb get serious, and Red lays his cards on the table in front of Matilda. What? It's morning in the villa, and Bomb is teaching Chuck some step. moves. Come on, Chuck. No! Come on! It's step, step turn, turn, pivot, step, step. Oh. step. Oh. Come on, Chuck! Ah, I'm trying! Ah, from the top, then! Step, a one step, and a step, two step. and a three and a... <laughs> Oh my. Meanwhile, like Stella and Matilda like are having a little heart to heart. Mm -hmm. uh, no, 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 no. It's not that I'm saying my head was turned, but if my head was turned, then I'm going to tell my head, you know, babes? So now she's telling me that her head may have been turned. But in what direction, why, and where, and what does that mean? And, and she doesn't even have a head! <laughs> text message! Oh, good. Look, look oh, here! Text oh, message! Gosh. It's a text! It's a text message! Just, Ooh! Text message. <laughs> Islanders, tonight is. Party oh, time. Oh, oh. Get your dancing oh, shoes oh, on. Oh, hashtag right. party. Yes, hashtag party. Hashtag dancing. Party. Hashtag oh, shoes. Oh, hashtag oh, islanders. Oh, hashtag oh, party. Party. Every night. This happens every night, oh, man. Ah, oh, this is trash. The islanders are having a great time partying. Unaware that their party is about to be crashed by one almighty pooper. Coming up, heads are turned. I'm not going to say that my head wasn't turned. So Stella's saying that her head has been turned. But turned into what? What? I don't know what that means. More drama. Oh, darn it. And one of the islanders will be sent home. I'll go, please. I volunteer. Oh, come on. Here. I'm still here. Here we go again. Wrong side of the screen. Oh, no, no, I thought yeah. we'd be home by now. Firing ourselves at piggies like the good old days. But something went wrong, I guess. Where am I? I guess it doesn't matter. I'm still oh, here. No, not again, my friend. And now, no, I'm alone. No, you're not. Oh, boy. Huh. I did not see this coming. Now, if I remember correctly, Red should be right over there. Right on time. Huh? Hold on. I... What? Whoa. Stella? Where are we? What happened? I have no idea. Stay there. I'll show you around. Is that who I think it is? Well, that depends. Who do you think it is? You. you. I, I, I thought it was you. I thought... <sighs> Great. Ah! Ooh! 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 So what's up? Hi! Yeah, hi! Jeez. What a mess. Where the heck are Chuck and Bomb? Well, they're not here, ah! that's for sure! Red, I feel like you are resisting the calming influence of nature. Really? Mm-hmm. What gives you that feeling? Oh, just a hunch. I'm very perceptive about these things. Well, how about you perceive this? Oh, hold it, hold it. Shh, shh. That's right. Take a pause. Let the forest in. Enjoy the... Let the forest in? I'd like to let myself out of it, preferably. Oh, no, look, over there. I swear there's something watching us. Oh, yes, Red. That's the spirit of the woods. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh, precious! Red, Red, I'm going to try and speak to it, okay? Maybe it knows something that can help us. What? My name Matilda? is... It's a Ma squirrel. Till they da don't we come in to be talkers. Peace, Michaela. <gasps> oh, Matilda. 
Melinda. It's Matilda. My name is Jeffrey. Wow. I come from the planet Squirrelion with important news for you. Jeffrey, I'm listening. Please tell what is Melinda. It? Matilda. You have been chosen by the High Council of Squirrels to represent your kind. Oh, wow. To teach the rest of the universe. Oh, my goodness. How to recognize the voice of someone you know really well who is standing right next to you. Jerk. Ah, <laughs> Stop it, Red. I'm sleepy. I don't want to go to school. Die? Red? Bonk? Why are you making that sound? Why do you guys look so terrible? Gee, it smells like a darn pig. Die. Oh, my. <clears throat> you, uh, you, you got a little on your... Are you an assassin? What? Rude. I'm Chuck. You know me? You've known me for years? Sheesh. This guy. Oh, right. Of course, yes. Chuck. Hm. In that case, I think we'd better get cracking and catapult your sneaky butt right out of here. Guards! <laughs> hey, come on. Where's Bomb and Red? I thought we were going home. What is this place? This is cool. I have named this place Oinktopia. Ham Grilla was a close second. This is our home now. When we failed to re-enter the game, this cursed place is where we ended up. And now, we are stuck here. For eternity! <laughs> whoa, whoa, take it easy. We're not stuck here at all. What? We're not stuck here. I have the iPad. Where was that? Actually, I don't even want to know. Yeah! Now, the bad news is it's out of batteries. But I know if we work together, we find a way to charge this guy, find Random Bomb, and get home! Work together. The birds and the pigs. You must be out of your... Yes. Work together. Good plan, Chuck. You pathetic fool. <laughs> hey, let's go! We've always been best friends, and that is for sure. There was never a time when we didn't like each other. We've always been best friends, and what's more is I'm sure we'll be best friends forever. Yes, 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 I'm sure we'll be best friends forever. Oh, you guys. <laughs> Fantastic. Acorns for dinner. Again. Nah. -uh. One acorn. Great. So one acorn between the two of us then. What? <gasps> this guy. Ah! Oh man. I hope Bomb has managed to find food wherever he is. Poor Bomb. So hungry. Blah. Well, let's eat then. Come on. Oh, right. Yeah, right. Spaghetti, pasta, soup, pudding after. Bomber seller gonna get filled up. I want spaghetti, pasta, soup, pudding after. Bomber seller gonna get filled up. Steady, steady, steady. Ah! Oh, darn it! Ain't gonna take this slow. I've been eating since two. Ordering a la carte. No, I'm not finished. I've hardly started. I want spaghetti, pasta, soup, pudding after. Bomber seller. Oh, I swallowed a slug. Hello, some butter, some chocolate spread. Y'all know I'm gonna get that bread. Oh, spaghetti, pasta, soup, pudding after. Oh, it's so bitter. Get out of here with that ball of oak. Y'all know I'm lactose intolerant. I want spaghetti, pasta, soup. Oh, I'm full. I couldn't eat another mouthful. Ugh. Uh, me either. Sheesh. I don't think I've ever been this stuff. Oh, oh man. Uh. Uh, man, I could really go for that acorn right hey, now. Hey, hey. At least we still got each other. Yeah, I guess you're... Oh, 
I was talking to him. And good night. Pretty. Aww. What? Oh, what, what are you awing at? Look, there, by that lock. I'm sure there's something watching oh, us. Oh, Red, that's silly. You're getting paranoid. It's probably just a cute little rabbit or or another beautiful squirrel. <laughs> that's not good. Come on. I'm not used to hiding under bushes when there's danger around. Oh, right. You prefer hiding under a coat in the back of a car or inside a slide. Okay, okay. For the record, we weren't hiding in the slide. We were stuck. Anyway, stop distracting me. We're angry birds. We aren't built to hide. We're built for action. Sure. If the action is rolling down a hill. It's time for the hunted to become the hunter. We are the hunted currently, and we're about to become the hunters. Oh, forget it. Follow my lead. Following us. Well, I... Why? Spill it, Piggy! Well, if you'll just give me a... Squeal, Piggy! I'm trying. If you and just... where did you come uh, from? I... And who are you with? Are you going to let me speak? And or... how did you find Why am I shouting? Are you both finished? <sighs> yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds on the run. Let me tell you a story. A story of hope. A story of loss. A story of betrayal. A story about a pig and a chuck. What? We came to in a strange, alien place, confused and scared. Why weren't we home? But, being the wise leader my people needed, I decided to make the best of it. To build us a new and better life. But that was before the darkness, the evil force showed up. The one you know as Chuck. Chuck told us what he had with him. And I suggested that we put aside our differences and work together to find a way to power it up, to find you guys, and to get home. to work with me. And what was worse, he managed to turn my own piggies against me. And then, then it happened. Something inside of him broke in that moment. He just snapped. I've never seen anything so terrifying. What else could I do? I ran for my life. <laughs> Help me, Red and Matilda. You're my only hope. Uh -huh. it's, it's, that's the end. Oh, sorry. Oh, God. I completely drifted off there. <laughs> what am I like, eh? Oh, sorry, sorry. Once more, from the top. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guys, quit goofing off. We got work to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Birds 
with like a boss. But I guess Guilty and Tiny is cool too. Come on, Stella. Enough messing around. We have to find our friends. They need us. It's time to get serious. Okay, okay. We should probably take off all this stuff then, don't you think? Hey now, I said serious, not unfabulous. Now let's go. It's alive! It's alive! It's alive! Oh, no it's not. My bad. That's it. No more goofing off. We have to get serious now. I'm in, man. What's the plan? Hmm. I think the first thing we need to do is find Red. My gut tells me he's with Chuck, and that all of this is gonna be fine. Well, come on, then. Let's get moving. Whoa, whoa. After breakfast. Hey, as long as Chuck is with Red, everything will be just fine. Pass me one of them donuts. <laughs> My loyal piglet. My simple heart. <laughs> I asked you to do one little thing for me. What was it? That's right! I said that if you don't know where Red and Bomb are, and we have no way to find them, then we'll have to make new ones. Better ones. But these are pathetic! <laughs> now get out of my... Hold on a minute. That's it! <laughs> My faithful swine, we did it. I give you my new best friends. Best friends that will never leave me like Red and Bomb. Let me introduce you to Red, Durr, and Bomb. Mer. Guys, group hug. Don't ever leave me again, okay? <laughs> Healthier. Happier. Stronger. Oh, no, wait, we did that one already. Can I go again? No.
Am I right? Oh, they're tuckered out. I know I give those guys a hard time, but man, they must have given it their all today. Proud of you. Oh man, we have earned this. I honestly feel like a new angry bird. You're telling me, feel those endorphins. Woo, yeah. How about we run back to the hotel? No way, let's jump in a taxi. And then, whilst I was still in the air, I quickly came up with a plan. I knew I was gonna have to take control to rescue Red and Bomb and save the day. That's right. And Redder, you are standing over here. That's it, yes, yes, yes. And so over here, that's where Bomb was. And I decided to go over there. Yeah, 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 it's on the run. Ladies and gentlemen and pigs, welcome to the premiere performance of Chuck. My journey, my rooms. Oh, I'm so scared, but I don't know what to do. Me too, Red. I wish Chuck was here to save us as normal. Fear not, my friends. I'm here to save you. Follow me to the end of the rainbow and beyond. The rainbow. Whee! All right, come on, here we go. Come on. Woo! Woo! Ah! Ah! <laughs> 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 Thank you so much, my adoring puppy. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, no. The current, it's its too strong. Stop it, First Mate Matilda. Hard stop it! The engine, it can't hold, Captain. Ah! We're going down. All is lost. No, avenge me, avenge me! Drowning, 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 and see. Yes. So that's what could have happened if we hadn't taken this remedial course in river safety. Okay, I am so very glad that we waste sorry spent half the day preparing that little presentation. I think we're good to go now. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, not so fast. We haven't practiced our sea shanties yet. When there was a little lad that sailed away on a pirate boat, my mother was a fishwife. And practice is over. Let's sail. Bomb? Yes, Stella? Let's do this. I'm sorry, do what? Huh? Go in for the dance contest? Win the money, get the phone, find the others? What did you think I was talking about? Oh, okay. I was looking at that poster there, see? Also pretty cool, you have to admit. But yes, dance contest. Great, let's do it, let's do it. See me da. See me twirl around and see me prance Back and forth, round and round I didn't have feet but that didn't slow me down really had the wrong impression with how we were doing there. I know. I knew we were good, but darn, son. Bomb, we came dead last. Oh. Let me tell you a story. A story of loss. A story of hope. You already did this whole serious let me tell you a story thing. Lighten up, man. Sheesh, I was just trying to make it dramatic and, oh, I don't know, entertaining. But you know what? You do it. With pleasure. So, after a long and perilous journey, Bomb and Stella found their lost friends. Uh-huh. Sure, Bomb. Everyone was pretty thrilled to be reunited. Uh, yeah, I know. And then I came over there, and we went home. I saw him as a great star. 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 I
the truth of the matter. Guys! Well, someone had to remind these clowns that this wasn't a gosh darn birthday party. You seem to be forgetting that this journey was far from over. The worst? Well, that is yet to come. You think you know your friend? Well, think again. The one you know as Chuck is gone. We are about to go to a place that will make your worst nightmares seem like the sweetest dream you ever had. Fine. Oh, where must we travel, my liege? Guide us! Ah, prepare to journey into the heart of darkness. A place from which some of us will not return, and those of us that do will not return the same. A place from okay, which... Okay, we get it. It's bad. Sorry. Where yes. do we have to go? <clears throat> right, just over there. What? Oh, right, yes, sorry. Just over there. Just there, behind you. Over there. Yeah, Chuck's in there. Right there. Yep, you heard him, folks. He was right there the whole time. Right next to where Bomb and Stella had been goofing around. Hey, investigate. Sure. With me as a guide, we began our infiltration of Chuck's lair. Yep. Anyone want to fill everyone in on what happened next? They caught us immediately. Ah! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's on the run. Ow! <laughs> Cut it out! Leave me oh, where's Chuck? Get away! Ow! Hey, Kings! Can't you do something here? No, well, they don't listen to me anymore. <laughs> Ooh. Are we going to see a show? Behold your fearless leader and best friend, king of all creatures, Chuck. Hey. Oh, Chuck, is it ever good to see you, buddy? We missed you, oh, man. Oh, man, you are a sight for sore eyes. Uh, do I know you? Chuck, it's us. Red, Bum, Stella, Matilda. And me, of course. Huh, I must say you look somewhat familiar. But you can't be who you say you are, as Red, Bomb, Stella, and Matilda are right here, with me. And they'd never leave me. <laughs> Would you guys? <laughs> Chuck, what is wrong with you? It's us! Yeah, I mean, granted, these guys are certainly handsome fellas, but you know us, man! Oh. Hmm. 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 I have reached a decision! There is only one way to settle this, and that is through <laughs> battle. Oh, boy. That's right. The winners will prove they're the real red, bomb, etc., etc., and the losers will be banished. Grandma! Oh, now hold on a minute there. You're not the real Chuck. I am. So you too will have to battle. Huh? No. No. Whoa. No. 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 Okay, enough now. What a tournament it's been! You can say that again. In round one, Bob came through and roundly defeated Bomber after Bomber fell asleep and forgot to show up. As you can see here, this is a classic sleeping position, face down, the rear end in the air. Look at him snore. Ooh, you're right. That is a classic snooze position. Let's rewind and take another look. Ow, too bad. Then Red scored a resounding victory over Redder when Redder also fell asleep and forgot to play. Great, I win. Again, you look at the position, the face is down, the rear end is in the air, that piggy is asleep. That's right, and if you're looking at it through the matchy cam, you can indeed see the snout is on the ground, red is in the background there. He is the definitive victor of this round. That's right, and I know there had been some conversation before this round that Red was not maybe match fit in the way that you would expect him to be, but I think we can lay those fears to rest with this decisive victory. And now, it's the match we've all been waiting for. That's right, it's time for the Battle of the Chucks, and it's all to play for. The future of the piggies and even the Angry Birds themselves. Whoever wins this will be crowned the real Chuck. In the yellow feathers, weighing in at about three pounds and standing at eight inches tall, we have Chuck. He is thus far undefeated in this tournament and will be looking to keep that record intact. And in the yellow feathers, also weighing in at about three pounds and about eight inches tall, we have Chuck. He is also undefeated and will be looking to keep that record also intact. Now you can see that both of our Chucks are really rocking that distinctive triangular Chuck shape, which is going to be useful for the aerodynamics of moving through the air at considerable speed. Absolutely, and if you look at the face of Chuck, you can see he's got quite a wide tush, which in contrast to his pointed head, makes for a large impact upon landing. Kaboom! Am I right? You are indeed. Let's get ready to bungle! Yeah, 
Ugh, Louie. Where are we? I want to play a game. Oh, oh me, me too. What do you want to play? I've got Scrabble, Monopoly. Oh, I know. No, Kaplunk. no. Gosh. The game I want to play is more serious. You have 30 seconds to figure out how to get the key to the chains around your necks, middles. If you don't, the room will get really, really chilly. Like, really chilly. Now remember, the key to success is patience. Oh, gosh. I'm too handsome to die. No one said anything about dying anyway. Think about it. The key to success is patience. Patience, get it? Come on, help here, guys. Let's reach those little teddy things. That's gotta be where the key is. <laughs> whoa, whoa, what are you doing? I said the key was patience, and now you're tearing apart my teddy bears. I meant if you waited and stayed still, the key would drop down from the roof. But you blew it. Ah. Congratulations. You have passed the first test. I did not see that one coming. But your true test has only just begun. Choose carefully, or you might not like where you end up. Oh no! Is the room gonna get really chilly again? No, actually, rude, rude. Anyway, just remember, doors don't just let you out. They also let other things in. Well, this is a no-brainer. Cake and clown room. I love cake. I like clowns. Not so Let's fast. go. Not so fast. Think about what he said. Doors letting other things in. There could be something terrible behind one of those doors waiting to burst in. You know what? I'm going to Clown Town. You go to Spookyville if you want to, but count me out. Boom. Nice. Knew it. You've made it this far. And before you go, all you need to do is choose a cake to eat as a reward to yourself and really, really enjoy it. But be careful. One of them might be chucked full of surprises. Wait, what? You don't need to ask me twice. Wait, it's gotta be a trap. Uh, one of them is poisoned, or they're on scales, and if we eat them, then the weight changes and the room fills with bees or something. No, it's just cake. It's meant to be a kind of well-done treat for making it out. Ha, you don't fool us. He doesn't. Doesn't he? So what do we do? Hmm. Wait. Ch ch chocolate cake. That's gotta be a clue. Oh, oh no. What? What is it? Oh, God. I don't want to die. cake. What? What? It is delicious. Aw, thanks. I baked it myself. Hey, you guys want to stay for a party? I have all these balloons and cakes. Sure, why not? Happy Halloween. Well, that was weird. Anyway, happy, happy Halloween. Halloween. Welcome back, sports fans. That's right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. The Battle of the Chucks. And what a battle it is shaping up to be. Let's go down to the catapult now live where we can see Chuck making his approach. Okay, here I go. Here I go. Come on, come on. Pull it, pull it. Further, further. Here we go, here we go. It's gonna go any second. Ah! Huh. Huh, well, my go. Wish me luck, go. Oh! Huh, I win. Huh? What? I, I lost? So, I'm not the real Chuck? Mm, who am I? <laughs> oh, you did it! You did it! Oh, what a yummy! Well done, you! Not so fast. Piggies sees them. <laughs> we trusted you! Well, that's on you, then. It was pretty obvious the whole time that I wasn't really going to turn out to be a good guy. Hmm. I should have known. Yeah, that's pretty much what I just said. <laughs> Why did you even bother finding us? Because I knew that only you guys could snap Chuck out of it and get me my piggies back. Ha ha ha. Anyway, pigs, restrain them whilst we power this bad boy up and get home. Ha 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 Oh, will you look at that? It was just off the whole time. Whoa! Ah! Oh! Guys, I'm sorry. Maybe I wasn't the real me. 
but I sure as heck am now. Now what do you say? Let's get in that catapult and go home! What? Oh boy. Oh, hey there, Traveler. You're just in time. I'm returning home with my Christmas shopping. Hey, you can help me put it under the tree. Hey, it might be cold outside and the heating might be broken. And you might have run out of snacks and the TV might also be broken. And someone might have stolen your car and a raccoon might have climbed through your cat flap and sold your couches. But hey, it's Chris. Well, I admit. What's happening here, my little friend? Oh, help, please. Our sled has crashed, and we have so much work to do. Now, hold on a minute. A sled? Wait. Can it be? Ho, 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 ho. Do you hear that, ladies and gentlemen? I think it's... That's right. It's me, Father Christmas. And I need your help, Bum. We need to get this sled up and running. Oh, people won't get their presents. Oh, no. Whatever will we do? Oh, my, do you hear that? Santa Claus needs my help. I'll tell you what, Santa. I'll help you get your sled going, but you gotta help me out first. Why? Sure. Well, my friend here has written a seasonal poem, but she can't finish it. Can you help her? Oh, for... Why, of course. Ho, ho, ho. Christmas is a special time. A time for fun and sharing. Christmas is a happy time, a time for friends, and... Oh, oh, you see? I just can't think of a way to finish. Karen, obviously. Oh, ho, ho. now that is a tricky one. Oh, it isn't. It's caring. Hmm, sharing. What rhymes with sharing? Wowzers, you can go ahead and call me a tree, because I am stumped. But I know what could help. Why? Let's have a song. Take it away, boys. Well, there's all kinds of things you can give someone for Christmas. Like chocolates. Or toys. Or sports equipment. Like a discus. But none of those will do the job when there's something special that you're after. I need a word to finish off my poem or it'll be a real disaster. You know what? I'm done. Happy Christmas, we all end up despairing. Ho, 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 ho. Well, looks like we could be here for a while, guys. Have a wonderful Christmas now, won't you? You people are insane!